Alright fellas, now Noya Inoue, the monster, known for being vicious, skilled and most importantly, pretty humble. And humble so is his team, it's that classic Japanese boxing respect. That's why I was confused when I came across this video of Inoue's father being shoved by a rival trainer. So it led me down the rabbit hole wondering, how did this occur and did Inoue ever get his revenge? And yes, Inoue very much got his revenge. But let's dive straight into it. First, I want to quickly touch on how Japanese boxing culture is very different to most of the world. Boxing, at least in my opinion in the West, can be a very ego-driven sport at times, with very little respect being shown, especially in the pro scene. However, in Japan, this is pretty different. The culture of respect here is paramount, deeply rooted in the country's traditions and values. In Japanese boxing, respect is evident in every single gesture, from the way the boxers enter the ring, and even the manner that they accept victory or defeat. It's about acknowledging the mutual journey, the shared sacrifices and the collective pursuit of excellence. Even the crowds at Japanese boxing events are far more respectful than anything we see in the West. Now, in a way, at the time of the altercation was chasing a bantamweight world title. After dominating the super flyweight division, he moved up and after a bout with Jamie McDonnell, he entered the World Boxing Super Series. As a part of this tournament, it would help to unite three of the belts, including the WBA, WBO and IBF world titles. For his first match of the World Boxing Super Series, he versed Dominican boxer Juan Carlo Piano, which occurred in Yokohama, Japan. Piano was no slouch, being 20-1, yet the match was short and Inoue got a first round knockout. 1 minute and 10 seconds into the fight. Now this moves us on to the match that we need to talk about. Inoue vs Emmanuel Rodriguez. Now Rodriguez is a Puerto Rican professional boxer who at the time had a record of 19-0, with 12 of those wins coming by a knockout. At this point he held the IBF world champion belt. His first match of the World Boxing Super Series was against Australian Jason Maloney, which he won via decision in October of 2018, lining up the semi-final against Inoue. The fight was interestingly set to take place at the SSE Hydro Arena in Glasgow, Scotland on the 18th of May 2019. Now, Inoue's father, Shingo Inoue, is his head trainer. In the lead up to the fight, in the open workouts, Shingo was respectfully taking photos of the training when Rodriguez's head trainer, William Cruz, came over, squared up, and then shoved Inoue's father. Rodriguez's trainer shoved Inoue's father during a media workout. The size difference between the two is very apparent. There's absolutely no need for this sort of act on such a big stage. This act caused hostility between the camps. Leading to the fight, it made the stakes even higher. On the 18th of May 2019, on the Taylor Baroncheck undercard, they finally met. This was the first time Inoue had ever fought in Britain and walked out to significant support from the audience with Rodriguez's entrance even getting boos on his introduction. Then they face off and the bell rings. Immediately they're both trading heavy shots, with both standing almost square to one another, neither seeming intimidated. Rodriguez had Inoue on the ropes for a small amount of time, however a very first even round from both fighters. This fight would also be the first time in three fights that Inoue would make it past the first round. As round 2 begins, Rodriguez comes out squaring up to Inoue once again. However, Inoue is the only one landing significant shots. Rodriguez struggles to get any shots back, and Inoue manages to knock down Rodriguez with a straight left. Straight away, Inoue leaps, gets him in the body, and knocks him down again. He struggles to get up. Once he beats the count, Inoue rushes him and knocks him down for that third time. At this point, the referee waves away the fight. In a way, victorious. This was an absolute statement fight and meant so much to In a way. The fight crowned him as a bantamweight world champion after all. Once he landed home in Japan, he said this to the media. Truly, this event that happened to my father was an incident that got me angry. Because of the behavior of the Puerto Rican coach with no respect for my father, this is the reason why I decided to jump right into the fight to knock Emmanuel Rodriguez out at all costs and hit him as hard as ever in a vindictive way. After this loss, Rodriguez's career didn't continue for too long. His next match was a loss against Raymark Gabalo, followed by a no contest against Gary Russell. His last three fights were wins, his final fight against Melvin Lopez winning him the IBF Bantamweight world title. 
He then announced through Facebook that he would retire on the 17th of October 2023. While since this fight, Inoue's career has only been on the up, becoming an international star in boxing. He went on to win the World Boxing Super Series, beating Nonito Donaire. Following this, he went on to become unified not once but twice in two different divisions. Within two years, his legend continues to grow, with this satisfying win just being a small chapter in his overall story.